Well, so another one would be uh, we started this company called Naked and Angry. That's <laughs> kind of like uh, Threadless except for patterns. So you submit a tiling pattern, like a flannel or I mean oh. a plaid or or you know whatever whatever the pattern is. And then we make products from the patterns. Like what and products? We made, well, we started out with ties, and then we did like wallpaper and dish sets, and um, we've done umbrellas and handbags and wallets and all kinds of things. Um, but I think it would have been better if we called it Threadless Patterns, and we launched it under, under Threadless. We had the same community there. We um, and or it would have been better if we launched each of these with a partner. Like we find the best tie company and we do a Threadless Patterns challenge for Pink or Thomas Pink or whatever, and then right, right. the pattern gets made into a Thomas Pink tie, and that's right. what we're doing now. Um, we just did, we did a challenge with Stephen Allen, a fashion designer out of New York, and he made a dress and a and a set of bo dress for women and boxers for men out of the patterns that came oh, out. Interesting. Um, and it was yeah you know, huge success. Whereas Naked and Angry, it was hard for us to first of all we're like separating it off as a totally separate brand. Even if you've heard of Threadless, you've probably never heard of Naked and Angry. We weren't able to really cross promote leverage Threadless for this new brand. And um, did you try sending out any emails to the Threadless list? Yeah, we did a few things like that, but it never really. The other you problem think, was that the products were so all over the place, and um, like, you, if you're looking for an umbrella, you're probably not not going to go go to Naked and Angry for one. Um, hmm. And we were only launching like one new product every quarter or so, so. We didn't have the frequency that we needed to, to be able to support a um, multi-varied product offering. Yeah. Like that.